Hey guys, uh, it is, uh, my name's Curly, or Max, whatever you want to call me, um, and this is hopefully the start of something new, something semi-exciting, uh, and that is my new podcast, hopefully, um, I don't know what it's going to be called. I don't know uh, if it's always going to be in this format or whatever. Um, But I just know that this is episode one and this is how we're going to do it here in episode one. Um, So uh, if the format stays the same, um, uh, well, first I'll tell you what's going on. So, uh. Right now, I'm uh, sitting in my backyard. It is, let me just check, it is 1 o'clock in the morning um, on the early November night. It is pretty cold. It is 2 degrees centigrade, or for what most people watching this have, uh, Fahrenheit, it, it, it would be... Uh, around I think it would be 36 or 34 it would be between 36 and 34 degrees outside so it's pretty cold just above freezing um but I'm doing this because I like doing this I do this a lot I uh I like to come out in star days and uh, late fall and winter are some of the best times to actually look at the stars even though it's cold out it's just because it gets dark a lot and it gets dark sooner. So you got a lot more time. And it, and I think this is just placebo. But I feel like it gets darker at night. Uh, but I don't have any empirical evidence to support that. Um, right now it isn't that dark though. Because there is a pretty bright half moon. And I believe it is waning. Which uh, yeah we had a uh, full moon the other night. So... I'm pretty sure it's waning. Um, and I'm sitting directly under, let me see, I believe that is the constellation. Hold on, I can't really tell if that's Orion. Okay, so we are sitting directly under what should be um the Taurus constellation, like, if I look directly up, I can see the very tip of its horns, um, now that bright dot, you can really, I apologize, guys, because it's not really, um, there's no real, uh, like, visual element to this episode, it is a podcast, but hopefully if I get better equipment, I can be able to do this, if it does stay in this format, um, But that one dot you can probably see is actually Jupiter. Um, So you know that one. Uh, It's just, it's the uh, third brightest thing in the sky after the sun and moon. That's a live Venus, but Venus is only ever out during sunrise and sunsets just because the way it works, it's closer to the sun than us. So you only, you gotta see it near the sun and stuff. Anyway, I uh, digress. Um, so, uh, the reason I'm out here um, is because I like doing this stuff. I've done it for a while. I've always been big on, uh, like, stargazing and space stuff. And uh, is people talk about it tongue-in-cheek a lot. But I don't think a lot of people have actually gone stargazing. Um, It is a really surreal experience. Um, And I know a lot of people aren't brave enough to really sit outside alone at night. Even sometimes I just hear random sounds that make me scared. But um, depending on the area you live in, you should be fine. Um, I am carrying a knife with me just in case, uh, you never know, but I'm more worried about animals than I am, uh, 
other people. But, um, man, if you ever have a chance, which you should because the stars come out every night, uh, go out and try it. It is just some of the coolest. It is one of the coolest things you could ever do. Um, and if you could do it with someone else, it is very, very fun. Um, I do this a lot. And unfortunately, winter is the best time to do it. Uh, also, just because there's a lot more uh, cooler stuff out in the winter. Uh, a lot more recognizable things. Uh, the Big Dipper's always out, so you can always see that. There's the con uh, the Constellation Taurus and Orion, which are some of the most recognizable. There's an airplane in the sky. Um... And of course, if you have a telescope, which I, I'm very lucky to have a uh, very expensive telescope, uh, I use it quite a lot. It is awesome. And even if you don't have a telescope, you can get cheap ones at like Target. Um, but like binoculars uh, are really good. You could see stuff like if you were to look at Jupiter, even with just binoculars, you can see the moons of Jupiter. That's that bright. Um, like I said, it is one of the very coolest things you could ever do, and everyone should try and do it as much as they can. Um, and that goes for really everything nature-related, not just the stars, but it is so easy to stargaze. A lot of people aren't doing anything at night, and uh, you don't, it's not really an active activity, so everyone could do it at any age, and it is surreal. Um... Now, I am a man of, like, uh, science, uh, I don't really, well, I'll say this, I, I know for a fact things like superstitions and stuff like that, uh, this, uh, like, magic and stuff, it's not necessarily real, at least to the best of our knowledge, um, but when you're out here, you can't help but feel magic and stuff, uh, and, uh, do the old the age-old thing of, you know, wishing upon a star. Uh, if you guys have a favorite star, uh, wish upon that. If you do not, uh, you should pick one because it is awesome to have a favorite star. Uh, it's a very... A lot of people don't even know the names of any stars outside of the sun. Um, one of the most famous ones is Betelgeuse. It's... Uh, the shoulder of Orion. Um, there's another one in Orion. Uh, I forget. Oh, it's blanking on me right now. But it starts with an R, I believe. Um, it is the second brightest star in Orion. And it's a, it's a blue. It's like one of the biggest stars in the night sky. Even though it's not that bright. It's because it's very far away. It's a big blue star. Um, very recognizable. It's Orion's like right knee. Um, there's things like Arcturus, which is the fastest moving star. Um, it's very recognizable in the constellation Bootes. Um, and then there's my favorite star. Uh, my favorite star is, uh, Vega. It is part of the constellation Lyra. It, it's a very small constellation, and I believe it's the third brightest star in the sky, after, I think it's, uh, Sirius, uh, which is part of the dog constellation, um, Sirius, and I forget which other star, but I'm pretty sure it's the third brightest, of course, excluding the sun, um, but I like it so much because... It is one of the, I believe it's the smallest constellation in the Northern Hemisphere, at least, uh, Lyra. Um, it's only like four or five stars, but I, I really like it because, I don't know, it's the small, it's part of the small constellation, yet it still happens to be one of the brightest, the most recognizable stars. So I feel like it just symbolizes, you know, no matter what you are, no matter how big, how small you are, no matter where you come from, you can always make a difference because Vega is always up there being one of the brightest stars in the sky. 
Um, and that's why it's my favorite. And that's why I choose to wish upon Vega. Uh, of course, you can pick any star and wish upon any star you want. You can even wish upon multiple. Um, which is, uh, like I said, it's a very underrated thing. It's a thing we talk about all the time, especially in pop culture. But I don't believe many people actually do it. Now, something we might see out here, uh, I am out here during uh, a couple active um, meteor showers. There's the Orionids, both of the Taurids, um, and there's one more, and we're, I think we're just entering the Geminids, so we could see a couple of uh, shooting stars, which would be cool, and uh, you know, there's always the thing, you gotta wish upon a shooting star as well. Um, so that's just another cool thing we should, and of course we're right below Taurus, which during both Taurus, Northern and Southern Taurus, uh, we should be able to see if there are any fireballs. Um, and, uh, it is still very cold out. I have two sweatshirts on at once. I have a blanket, uh, I have my warm fuzzy Crocs, which, uh, they're not actually mine, they're my sister's, I'm borrowing them, uh, and I'm on a blanket. Yeah, uh, one thing I don't really understand is the point of the warm fuzzy Crocs. Of course, they're serving me now, and I don't really put them on because I didn't feel like tying my own shoes, but, uh, I don't know, isn't the whole point of Crocs to be waterproof and stuff? Not necessarily waterproof, but they don't get damaged by water because there are holes in them, but they're supposed to be like play shoes, mud shoes and stuff. But then you put like the fuzzy stuff inside and it, it defeats the whole purpose because now if they get wet, they're kind of ruined and now you gotta wash them and stuff. So uh, I don't know. Um, and uh, before we continue, I just want to take time to apologize. I realize that this setup isn't necessarily ideal and I apologize that there isn't much going on in the visible front and you may not be able to hear me that well. Um, but, like I said, if this format stays the same, um, I hope it can improve as it goes along. Um, now I just want to talk about uh, where I've been. Uh, I know I'm not talking to a lot of you. Uh, just the nature of things, you know, my channel isn't very popular. Barely over, I think, 100. And that's even if you guys are active subscribers. Um... But it's been a while since I posted or streamed. Um, and that is, and I've hinted at it before in uh, like those weekly update things. Um, I have really been struggling with some mental illnesses. I, I have been depressed a lot. I have. And I have not been, uh, these have not been, uh, clinically diagnosed or anything, um, so I don't want to seem like one of those people that just self-diagnoses everything, but I've been dealing with a lot of things, and, um, I don't know, I just have never, I have been dealing with motivation issues for really, really long time um really since uh my sophomore year of high school um I used to be a really good student and to a certain degree I am um but like nowadays I really cannot do these things that I even want to do. It's it is hard to explain. I I like I don't know. Like imagine some of you might know what burnout feels like and motivation issues, but think of that, but for everything and even your favorite stuff. Like 
there's these things and I, like i'll just wake up one day i'll say i want to do this blah 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 and it'll be one of my favorite things in the whole world and like i know it's one of these things that i like i know that i love doing it but the second i actually start doing it it's like i don't want to do it anymore and then i hate it for a while and then it's uh, man i don't know it's it's really hard to explain and it's a tough subject for me to talk about because it has been going on for so long like just for example i i love uh like in school for example i love math and science and i've even talked about it here talking about all my knowledge of these stars and stuff uh but man, like in school, I, I was really good at math. I'm really good at stuff like that. But now I just, I hate it. And I don't know why. And outside of school, it's been things like, I love the things like Minecraft and Call of Duty and uh, other video games. And now, like, I will, for months, I'll be like, I want to make a Minecraft world. I want to play Minecraft a lot. I want to have my own world and stuff. I want to do all these cool things. And then it's like an hour into playing it. I'm like, why am I doing this? Why? And my favorite thing in the whole wide world, I don't know if I've ever said this, is baseball. I love baseball. I I've played it since I was five. I coach it now. There is nothing else in the world I love more than baseball. And currently I play in college. But man, some days it's just like... Why am I here? I just... Why am I doing this? I don't like it in that moment. Even though I love it. I know that I love it. It's just like I cannot justify doing what I'm doing in the moment. And it's really hard. And I don't know how else to describe it. And it's. I would just like to know if anyone has ever felt feelings like this before. Um, you know. <sighs> Sorry, I'm. It's just a very hard thing to talk about for me. I don't understand why these things are happening. and um, Anyway, where was I? So the whole reason I was talking about that is because it's not been why I post in a long time. and um, I've been thinking about returning for a long time. Um, and I know in those uh, like those uh, weekly updates that I used to do, I would say like, "Oh, I'm finally back. I'm finally over this depression that I was in." And uh, I lied to you guys, and I didn't do it on purpose. I I didn't know that I wasn't over it. I thought I was, and then it would just be, "Oh, there goes another two weeks without uploading." I guess I wasn't over it, and then it would two weeks turned into like months, and then after that, I never posted again. It's, uh, man, I don't know. Uh, sorry, uh, it's just a hard thing to talk about, like I said. Um, It's uh, it's been all that kind of stuff on uh, on top of all the stresses of everyday life and being in college and man, can I I just gotta give you guys some advice if if any of you guys aren't in college yet um, and you're still in high school and uh, you haven't picked out a school yet or anything, man. Do not go to college unless you're 100%, not even 100, a million percent sure of what you want to do, one. 
to if it's right for you and you can do it and three that you, that you're ready for it I don't know it's I know this it's kind of cliche what I'm saying now but it's just man it's it's true you like and there's this stigma that you should go to school and if you don't go to school you're a failure and that's not necessarily true take your time make sure you want to know what you want to do what classes you want to take every detail and then you're finally ready because man can i tell you something it is hard it's hard not knowing what you want to do it's hard to justify doing school when you don't know what you want to do it's it's a big step and it's a big commitment i mean it's tens of thousands sometimes even hundreds of thousands of dollars that you are spending and sometimes you don't really know what you get there and a lot of people do that they spend that money and they realize they're wasting it and they stop so even though they they don't they don't think school is right for them now there's so much money and debt and it's man just here's what i'm saying i think college is a very good thing and it can help a lot of people but i just think the current social system that we have of going immediately after you're done high school is just not right for a lot of people and it certainly wasn't right for me and right now i'm i am struggling and stressing in school so much it's and i don't i'm not even 100 percent on what i even want to do or what i'm doing you know it's really hard and it's just those kinds of stresses on top of uh, the feelings I was feeling that have really got me really, really down. And it's, it's, it's hard, guys. And um, I just don't want people to uh, understand. Or I don't want people to go through what I've gone through. Because I feel like it's a learning experience. And I feel like... Not to have the kind of savior complex, but I feel like I I went through it and I would never make anyone else or tell anyone else to do it unless they're 100% sure that it is what they want to do. So I don't know. It's a really hard thing to talk about, like I said. So who knows? Um... Let's see, we're like 20 minutes in. Uh, sorry, guys. I I didn't really outline anything to talk about in this video. I just have really... Um, I really wanted to come back. I think I am... I know I've lied before, but I think I am finally ready to come back and make content on the regular. Um, like I said, I, I want to do this podcast, and I don't know if it's always going to be in this format of me laying under the stars... I could always have people out here with me and do conversations. Um, the way I was originally going to do this podcast was kind of like not a live stream, but it would be me talking while I play a game. And it wouldn't necessarily be about the game. It would be more about my commentary. But uh, a lot of people just put pre-recorded gameplay over their commentary. But I thought it would be cool to do gameplay or like to play the game and talk but instead of it you know being like a let's play like most people do or just any other let's play video it would be like a long play podcast style where it was more focused on what i was saying rather than what i'm doing um so let me know if that sounds more interesting or um or this does because i do like this idea i literally came up with this maybe 10 minutes before i actually did it um I mean, I do this a lot where I just lay out. I told you guys, so um, I could just record myself and record my thoughts while I'm out here. Um, and that could just be the podcast. And of course, like I said, I can always bring people and guests out here with me. Um, you know, I'm not a famous YouTuber or anything, so I can't get like, you know, those kinds of people. But um, you know, there's people that have been on podcasts all the time, so maybe it would be more cool to get people that, that uh, aren't famous, uh, like my friends and family, get their situations, and 
life lessons and shoot things with them and see shoot things against the wall and see what sticks with them um so yeah let me know um another thing that i kind of want to talk about is uh nostalgia um so this video was on the eve of uh og fortnite coming out um Actually, it's coming out in only a couple hours. It comes out at 6 a.m. It's like 1.30 now, so. <sighs> so. And I know these are all kind of cliches, guys, but. I hate nostalgia. Because it is just a constant reminder of things that will never, ever, ever be good as they once were. And I'm speaking in general, of course, and uh, there's always outliers, like, uh, I feel like, you know, obviously I'm better now than when I was going through my depressive stage, but, um, but in terms of the interactions you have with your family and friends, things will never be better, and so we really... I've had this revelation in only this past day, and it was really because, um, so I was looking into OG Fortnite, and I was like, all right, cool, I'll finally come back to the game, because everybody played that game, so I was finally excited to, uh, you know, play the game again, and the game that I love, and thought was really cool, and fun, and to play with my friends again, that would be awesome, and I thought it was going to be, you know, relatively the same, but the more I looked into it, it was not. They're only bringing a couple weapons back, I think. It's only going to be a couple changes, and the UI is staying the same. So it's not really going to have that same feel. And I must say it's really disappointing that they didn't uh, convert it, but I guess I know why they did it. Or they didn't do it, but, um... Of course, I'm saying all this speculative uh, It is a day before the game comes out, so... For all I know, I could be wrong, but it has really made me realize that, man... Nothing will ever be as good as you ever thought it was. So, I guess, I guess what I'm really saying is just enjoy it. Um, so I got a quick... Like, just to supplement this quick story, um... Me and my friends played every day uh, in my 8th grade year. Um, that's just the year like I can remember everything. Um, so that was 5, 6 years ago, um, my 8th grade year. Uh, my best friend had... I play on PlayStation. My best friend had just got a PlayStation. He was a lifelong Xbox user. And my other best friend uh, got has had his place for a while. And we finally started playing with each other, and my other really good friend, uh, he has always had a PlayStation, but then we finally, you know, this is like the birth of the squad, we finally started playing everything together, and, uh, that was the peak of Fortnite, of course, so we played every single day as 8th graders, and it was a blast, and then the summer after I graduated 8th grade, um, not it, um, uh, I had moved, now all my, I, I didn't go to school with any of my friends, so that wasn't like the issue of finally moving away from them, um, and in fact, we're all really good friends today, but the thing is, we all went to high school, and that was the thing, we couldn't play every night, and, um, my PlayStation actually broke, uh, right around when ninth grade started, so I couldn't play with them, and man, that was a really um, sad time, um, because I saw them talk in the group chat and play all the time together, and I was like, man, and then um, in 2020, uh, it was my sophomore year, I had finally got another PlayStation, and I was like so excited to play with them, and then I realized, man, they're not on every night. So I... It was just like a really... Sh big shock that... 
Like, I was playing, I went from playing with them every night. My PlayStation broke. Uh, and then when I finally got a new one about a year later, it was like, man, how did things change so much in a year? And then we, st we still played every now and then. And then the worst thing was finally when we all went to college, like we... We talk all the time. We're still all good friends. But the thing is, we can't really play anymore. And it is... It infuriates me, honestly. I would do anything to play with them. It doesn't matter what game. But if all four of us are together, man, that would be awesome. And so that's why I'm I'm grateful that oh, at least some part of OG Fortnite is coming back. Because uh, we have all made plans to play tomorrow so even if only for a day or a month or however og F fortnite is lasting which i think it's a month um we could just hopefully experience as much as the good old days as possible however i'm still i'm i'm a little scared because man i don't i, I know it's not gonna feel exactly the same and i just hope it doesn't ruin the experience that's all um but my advice to you is just man it's never going to be better than it is now so just take it in don't be don't just rush by like a bullet train just experience every moment you have because they're limited and we don't realize that often that this is the last time that x may happen or y this or z that like we never realize it while it's happening but it could be your last I'm sorry, this is... Man, I didn't think this would be as emotional or moving to me, at least, as as it was. Um, I think with, we're, what, 30 minutes in, so... Even though this may be short on podcast terms, this is our first episode. Um, I think I'm going to end it here. Like I said, please give me your feedback. Let me know if you like this format or if this... Maybe not in every time format, but, you know, in every now and then format. Um, I do intend to post at least some sort of podcast, uh, probably at least once a month, but hopefully uh, as much as possible. Um, I'm going to have all kinds of guests on. Uh, um, I'm going to do all kinds of stuff. I want to start posting regular videos again on uh, gaming, and uh, hopefully, I'm not going to make any promises, because I've learned from my past, hopefully... I can get one out on uh, OG Fortnite if it's not a video, at least a stream. Um, so come by, pop into the stream, and uh, if I do it, uh, if there's a video, watch it, you know. And uh, last thing to last, I would uh, really appreciate you guys if uh, you subscribe because I'm hoping to start this uh, journey again. Um, I know I've tried it in the past, I've learned, I'm ready for it, hopefully, fingers crossed, once again, not making any promises, but I would really appreciate you guys coming along for the ride, uh, I want to do this, I'm committed to doing this, um, so yeah, um, like I said, I know this is short for podcast terms, but, um, I'm gonna end it here, cause it's, it's pretty cold out, uh, um, it's, 2 a.m. I want to go to bed. Um, and uh, I think I got across everything I wanted to do um, and say. Um, of course, if I have guests in the future, hopefully it'll be longer. Uh, like, And uh, I didn't really outline this, so I really am just talking from the heart and from the mind here. I didn't outline anything. I didn't plan to talk about anything. Uh, so I thought this went really well for, uh, for first time and, uh, for not scripting anything. Um, and, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I will 
hopefully see you guys again soon.